Hi everyone, this is Ramos and welcome back to Destiny. I want to show you guys some clips of the update that was made for the Rise of Iron, update 2.4.0 and what the Thousand Yard and the Longbow can and can no longer do anymore. The following clips were recorded, were captured in Mayhem Clash since this is the easiest way to find many supers and to test out your sniper. So hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy uh, the clips and let, you, let me know in the comments what you feel about the changes and what are the tips we can use for other snipers to know what we can do to take down supers now so hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it alright so here I'm using my Lombo and you saw that he this warlock tanked the headshot this warlock was in radiance I saw him melee uh, a friendly and got an overshield from it I was able to pull off a headshot but the warlock still survives, so the longbow is no longer able to take down a, a warlock in radiance and has flame shield. So now you're gonna have to either start with the headshot and finish him off with the primary, or uh, do some team shot to take him down. So remember, longbow can't take radiance down anymore. All right, in this clip, I was able to snipe a storm caller. I have a thousand yard stare and has explosive rounds, and I'm thinking that extra damage can take him down. That's not the case. I landed a headshot on a warlock. Very little health left, but I had to take two shots just to take him down. The headshot, as you can see, boom, headshot, and you can see my explosive rounds only did 39. See it again. Headshot, 156 to the head, 39 with explosive rounds. Was still not enough to take, to take down a storm caller. So if you have a thousand yard or any kind of sniper with um, now mid impact, with like the thousand in the longbow and it has explosive rounds, it's still not enough to take down heavily armored supers, so it's probably not going to take down the blade dancers, not going to take down stormcaller or radiance, and definitely not a flaming titan. So if you're going to engage one of those, uh, hopefully you can land a headshot and follow up with another body shot or another primary. All right, here I'm using FD Spear. It has the same impact of 37, just like Black Spindle. I heard a blade dancer pop, pull up my sniper, and was able to one shot the blade dancer out of their super, a heavily armored uh, super, uh, with for this spear so if you have an FD spear you can go and use that in the meantime and it is able to take down a heavily armor super much like the blade dancer more than likely it can take down the storm caller and it can take down radiance and as you can see it was a headshot right there right before my grenades was able to get them so it was all my snipers that got that kill and not my grenades all right, and here we can see that we have a Sunbreaker that just popped a super. I'm using FD Spear, and this is my one chance to be able to find out if FD Spear can take down the Sunbreaker. My friend was able to actually lead uh, the Sunbreaker towards me, and I was able to land the headshot and take down that uh, Sunbreaker out of their super. Now, so we can definitely use, if you don't want to use an exotic as your special, you can definitely use FD Spear to take down a heavily armored super just like the sunbreaker so if you have FD spear that's the only only legendary right now that can still do it so even if a thousand yard and longbow are no longer able to do the job if you have FD spear it'll continue to do the job effectively but we'll adjust and we'll find other ways to do it so good luck out there people